In Pahala, the fog is so thick you can taste it. The Big Island community is located about 18 miles downwind of a volcanic vent that pours out about a thousand tons of sulfur dioxide each day. It really exacerbated my condition and such, where I was going to the doctor just about every week and such. The uh, doctor had said that I needed to move because I would die if I didn't move, and uh, because the conditions were so bad. Making matters worse, people in Bahala have few places to seek refuge. Most people in this low and moderate income community say they don't have air conditioning or air purifiers. On most weekdays, seniors congregate at Bahala Senior Center, talking story in the shade. No place to go. You know the fog is all over. To me, the, the, it works real good with the air con in the car. Oh. You put on the air con. Mm -hmm. it, it works real good. There are many elders and there are many people who suffer from uh, respiratory conditions as well as those, the children. But they may not have the conditions that are predisposing, but they have developed the sensitivity to the, the VOG in our environment. Just above Pahala, the small farming community of Wood Valley has it even worse. It comes in quite uh, rapidly in the mornings. Mm -hmm. And it's mostly, uh, it's not so much the smoke like what uh, comes into Honolulu. What we end up mostly with is a clear, concentrated um, sulfur dioxide or SO2 gas, which um, uh, just kind of permeates and moves through walls, even in the buildings that are closed. Uh, it does cause a, uh, we usually can taste the sulfur first thing in the morning. 